bit like Trisha Paytas, just kind of sitting down on the floor about to have a conversation with you guys. So today I'm going to do a home tour for you. And I was in two minds about doing this video because obviously there's a huge echo, I'm sorry, but I was in two minds because sometimes home tours and that kind of stuff can come off across as a bit showy off -y and also just a bit cringy sometimes but you know I feel like I've shared so many of my journeys with you guys and you have seen me through the lows and the ups and you know I've been on a trajectory that's been really really you know positive and I have a lot of people to thank you know you guys have seen me when I was staying in shared accommodation and me and Michael just got married and we were sharing bathrooms and kitchens with other nurses and doctors you've seen us go to house shares you've seen us move back to our mum's house like people think that things just happen but things don't just happen like everything is a process and a journey and it takes time and this is our second home that we have bought together and I'm not gonna lie it's not even easy you know the struggle is very real it's very complicated it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of saving and discipline and focus but yeah um, but you know I don't want to come across as showing off the at all rather I share my journey and hopefully I can be a bit of a inspiration to those girls who who don't necessarily think that certain things are possible for them like no they are they're, like they are uh, they're possible for everyone you might have to grind harder and harder than some but don't worry like everybody has the opportunity to build something or to create something or to have a nice home or to have a good career you have the opportunity but it's up to you to kind of take it but yeah you know sometimes I can come across as very preachy so I'm just gonna just keep my mouth closed right about now. I'm very happy with what God has provided for me and you know, I'm just grateful. Okay, I think I've said enough so let's get to this. Okay, this is room number one and this is kind of like the, the adult living room, like everyone's got the adult living room and this is it. Um, it's empty. Everything's empty right now. What I really love about this room is number one, of course, the parquet flooring. It's a little bit yellow right because of the varnish that was on it, but we're gonna get it sanded and then we're gonna get a nice wash over it so it's a nice cool gray. Over here we have a fireplace. Fireplace for me is like the center of the home. And, but this time, this one's a gas fireplace, which I much prefer. I love the bay window as well. The window's really big, it's really bright in here. But yeah, as you can see, there's a huge echo because of the lack of furniture. <laughs> okay, so next we are going into my favorite, favorite part of the house, which is obviously the kitchen and diner area. The guys who lived before, like they killed it. They did an amazing job in here and so you can take quite a, a, a average London home and make it phenomenal. Let's go. Okay guys, so this is the kitchen, living, chilling area and we spend the majority of our time here because guess what, food is life and yeah, it makes me happy. Really nice like kitchen area. I mean, it's ridiculous, but I'm a cooker and there isn't four ovens, which I know a lot of people have said like you've got four ovens, but actually you've got a microwave, a steam oven, and two ovens. So it's kind of like three ovens, yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. And then there's like two fridges, but everything's like integrated in the kitchen, so it actually just looks really seamless. I think it looks really nice. And actually my fridge is quite tidy. I have not cleared up for you guys. <laughs> I kind of like meal prep, so there's always like containers and stuff in the fridge, but yeah, y'all get it, right? So there's a big island, like working top area for when I'm cooking, I can watch TV as well and everything's like hidden. So like, you don't have to see all the dirt and mess, you can kind of stay tidy. And then over here, what we have is more like the chill out area. So what we're lacking right now, or what we wanna get are some bar stools across here, and then we're gonna get like an L-shaped sofa. And this is actually like a sofa we had in our other living room. And it actually looks so small here because of the size. You can see we've just got folding doors like towards the whole of the back. I cannot wait for summer. It's about to be barbecue time to all my friends and family. Hey! When you open the doors up, it's basically like having the outside inside. I love it. 
All right, so this is the other side of the kitchen, dining, chill out area. This is kind of the breakout zone. This is where we have dinner, and if we're trying to be good and having dinner at a dinner table. The lights, they left here, and it flows through to a second living room area, which I see is our main area, but we'll go in there in a second. All right, so over here, we have more like the snug area. Doo -doo. It's like a warm chocolate brown, which I would have never done, but I'm glad that people here did it before. Um, again, empty, but this is where we are chilling, like at the end of the day. Obviously, Grace has got her collection of toys in the corner here, just the stuff that she plays with downstairs outside of her room. And then we're gonna get like a proper chest here, like a proper toy chest. So you know what, we understand that this room can get messy, there can be toys everywhere, and we can just pack it up at the end of the day. And then, yeah, that's it. This picture here is my favorite. We picked this up on a trip to Hong Kong. This is gonna stay with me forever. It makes me very happy. So, okay guys, upstairs we have me and Michael's bedroom where we sleep, where we stay. I'm not showing that room. I also have Grace's room, which is a little nursery. Again, I'm not showing that room because I might do like a nursery room tour one day when I've done it exactly how I want it to be done. But this is where I do my filming. It is not ready yet. I'm definitely changing the floors, changing up the furniture a little bit, but this is what the space currently looks like. Um, this is my kind of drawers that you see behind me, which has basically got my like underwear in it, um, house clothing, like stuff like this that I wear just when I'm chilling at home. Um, and I put like my um, my Desenio picture frames because I love, love, love Desenio. It's amazing, so affordable, it's crazy. I'll link them in the description bar below. Really, really good. And then I have these two drawers. So I have this set of cupboards here. And a lot of people ask me where were the wardrobes from. I believe that I hear closets, but the people who lived it before, I think they had them like um, fitted into the alcoves. And then I've got another set on that side as well. I also have like a dressing getting ready area. This is not done like how a beauty room should be done. I'd love it to be, but I haven't got time for it yet. I am going to do it. I just need to like start going furniture shopping and finding some pieces that I really, really like to kind of do this place as I want. Um, over here, this is like, like no, there's no shame in that wig game. This is like my wig head area and then some of my achievement areas. You. So yeah, this is my like achievements wall. And then like, hold on. This is for when I reached 100,000 subscribers and I've received this letter. Dear creator, you've just done something very few creators accomplish. An astonishing 100,000 people have subscribed to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you have created. I think that is amazing. They were inspired, challenged or entertained. A million subscribers might seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think and we're rooting for you. And now I have a million subscribers. Like how crazy is that? By the way, I only got this last week, you know. <laughs> so it might be another five years or so before I receive my like million subscribers thing, but I'm really grateful. Like I like things like this because they kind of remind me that, you know, I'm kind of doing stuff and I'm doing all right, yeah. Anyway, sorry, change of subject. So this is my current um, dressing area. It, this is not what I want here. A lot of people ask me about this. This is from Argos. It's really good for like movability, but eventually it starts to kind of topple. So I need something a bit more sturdy. So yeah, and then over here is my cupboard, which actually my clothing is really organized because I organized it, but I want to show you my secret mess. This is my like secret makeup and beauty. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like, no, I'm very, not happy with this. This is not how I want it to be in any way, shape or form. I'm gonna have this changed and I'm gonna get it organized, people. It won't stay like this. So yeah, this is where I keep my clothing. I've got more clothing here. The stuff that was for my haul here. So yeah. YouTubers, storage goals, cameras, lights, monitors, 
and all of this as well so yeah okay guys so that is the end of this house tour I'm not showing everything like Gracie's room me and Michael's room I just wanted to share the bits where I spend the most time in or will do and this room isn't even where I want it to be but it's a big space it's so big so I can't wait to like make it my own it was a spare bedroom that I've kind of taken for like filming and working but it's nice to have for everyone to have their own little space but yeah that is the home tour I really hope that you liked it a little bit more candid so guys I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you later bye baby and if it's quite all right I need you baby to warm a lonely night a pretty oh it sounds like I can sing yeah